There are times to where you will want to hide one or more fields inside of tables. The biggest reason for doing this is to make a field tougher to edit, though a better practice would be to use a form to do the data editing and just not include the field you don't want edited within the form. However, hiding fields in tables is an exam topic, so we want to see how this is done. I have the class types table open in this database, and there is a field for discounted price. Perhaps I don't want that field to be visible at this time. No problem. Similar to Excel. We can right click a column heading, as I am doing here, and we can hide it. The field will still be accessible on any queries, forms, and reports containing the field, but new forms and reports and the design won't have this field available unless we unhide it, which, come to think of it, may be another good reason to hide a field. In addition, existing queries, forms, and reports using this table will not have hidden fields available to add to the respective existing objects. There is a danger in hiding fields. You may forget that you hit a field and think you accidentally deleted it. If you do hide a field, you'll want to indicate as such in the table description. We'll show you how to do that in just a bit. Of course, if we are going to hide a field, we need to know how to unhide it. This process differs from Excel. To unhide a field, we can right click any column heading, click unhide, and any column that is not checked is indeed hidden. I will select the discounted price checkbox, click close, and the field is now available here and on any queries, forms, and reports, present and future, that depend on this table. Lastly, though we right click the column heading, know that you can also hide and unhide fields through going to the Home tab. And then, in the records group, clicking the More drop-down arrow.